And we're joined now by one of the leading voices, the CEO of World Kindness USA and the founder of World Kindness Australia, Michael Lloyd White. Michael, you believe that there's a strategy to being kind. Well, there is. We were born to be um, kind, but unfortunately, we don't always end up being kind. So we need to look at how we lose our how we lose that path and fear seems to be right at the base of every single issue. The irony is, is that all the world's problems are related to mankind and all the solutions are going to be related to mankind. So we just need to get them to choose the kinder option, which is sometimes probably more difficult than the path of most resistance. Your group says that kindness takes courage. Absolutely. So we're not talking about the hearts and flowers and sugar and spice and all things nice. We're talking about the courage to be kind, the courage to stand up and do what is right rather than what is popular. And two things I actually revere here in the United States. One is the Constitution, without question. The other is those who serve because they know that they might take a bullet to protect a stranger, somebody they don't know. But the truth is, in my country and in yours, for generations, our best and bravest sought the safety of silence. This is not an indictment, this is just a social observation. While their own brothers and sisters, people they did know, were being harmed, were being raped, abused, discriminated against and bullied. And this has come out recently in the Washington Post, but it's been around for a while. And it was all to protect the brand. I want to take this back a little bit and talk about how kindness is influenced. Does it, does it vary by location? Are people kinder in, in, in warmer places? Are some ki countries naturally socially kinder than others? Well, I've, I've traveled a lot, so I can only speak from my personal experience, and I've seemed to get a fairly good reception. I don't know if that's because they know what I'm doing, but I tend to find that um, we are kind to people we like. The challenge is being kind to people we might not like or people that are diametrically opposed. And right now, the great American divide is a problem because we can't even have a conversation online without someone bringing a virtual baseball bat. But learning to use the power of the question mark, and I don't mean in a sarcastic way, but just to empathise and to understand where that person, person is coming from may in fact lead to a, um, a revelation that, hey, maybe I was wrong, maybe I was mistaken. So if we're going to see the US take a lead role in the global campaign, and that's absolutely important in the strategic plan, because you're the most influential country on the planet, we need to bridge that divide. We need to address the plight of civil discourse, and we need to stop allowing the campaign of fear and hate to influence everyone in the home of the brave. So is, is there work towards policy change? Can this happen in Washington? We've just opened an office in Washington, D.C. We've got our, our West Coast office at Thunder Studios in L.A., but we absolutely have to... We're not lobbyists, but we hope we can be a positive influence and we can start to see kindness on the agenda, as in the studio has done today. And that's going to start a conversation. And yes, there will be policies in, in doing this. But to have those policies, we've got to start to talk to each other and listen to each other. And that hasn't been happening. Somebody cuts you off. You have road rage. How, how do you react kindly? Oh, well, Ellen DeGeneres said in uh, Relatable, she hates being known as the kindness queen because in those moments, she wants to flip somebody the bird. And I understand that. I get that. But it's that take a moment, that belongs to them, that's their stuff, and they're obviously having a hard day. And that's hard to go, that's a hard space to get to. But when you've got it on your agenda, your awareness level increases, your radar goes on, and you begin to see the unseen. You begin to see an alternative. What's one thing right now I can do, anybody watching can do, to be kinder? One lasting thing. Well, I think acknowledging an act of kindness is just as about as powerful as the act of kindness itself. 
and we have the kindness cards. I'm going to leave you with the kindness card today. They're tracked on Google Maps. They record an online journal. They're available on our website, worldkindnessusa.org. And you register a story, pass it on to somebody, asking them to do the same after you've acknowledged them. And every time a new story gets entered, you receive a, uh, an email with a link taking you to Google Maps, showing you how many miles it's travelled, the current location and the act of kindness that was recorded. So it stays in touch with you, and that can have a lasting impression. Share it on social media. We will do that. Michael Lloyd-White, thank you for kindly joining us today.